Hello and welcome to the tutorial video in Filmcast Studio on how to configure multi-screens. Okay, we've got two multi-screens, multi-screen 1 and multi-screen 2. Uh, MS1 would be for multi-screen 1 and MS2 would be for multi-screen 2. Um, as usual, they can be switched via the uh, inbuilt video switcher. Uh, they can also be downstreamed if you choose. They, they can be outputted to external monitors and they can also be added to virtual sets and, 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 and also uh, on the virtual screens. Okay, so how do we create and configure a multi screen in Filmcast Studio? Well, there's already some items in multi-screen one so I'm going to go to multi-screen two I'm going to left double click it will open up a window which by default uh, until you add something to it will be completely blank what can we add to uh, our multi-screen uh, HD window well we can add any of our one um, four sorry uh, video inputs uh, whether the cameras or whatever the video input is via video capture card You can add in your video player. So let's click and add in a video player one You can click that source and move it around to pretty much wherever you want to if you want to resize it just grab the end and you know, Whatever way you choose so I'll put this video player one down at the end of the screen Incidentally, you can add a back image if you choose to and Somebody may create some sort of templates in Photoshop or some other video editing software where you may want to place your uh, Devices in two little, you know frames if you like onto that back image. Of course, it's possible But for now in this example, I'll just stick with the back screen um, Okay, we'll add in a video player two also and again we can put this pretty much anywhere we want to it depends really how you want your multi-screen to be if you're going to switch it as a, into the program else and you want it to be something that's going to be displayed in multi-screen for example maybe using the NDI sources and you might want to have two live Skype callers and yourself and put it all into one window and then broadcast it out where your viewers are viewing all three callers. Of course, it can be done. And speaking of NDI sources, we'll just bring in NDI source one. And again, we can place this and resize it pretty much anywhere we choose. Okay, uh, again, images are an option and the three virtual sets. Let's bring in maybe image one, uh, which is a weather graph oh, weather. okay it's just an image saying weather but again as an example you pretty much get the idea this can be resized and placed uh, to how you pretty much want to and I'll bring in image 2 as also another option so again the multi-screen can be made up of pretty much all the main devices that you will be using when using FinCast Studio um, can you play something twice? Of course you can. Again, we can click on a video player one and we could replace it over on the right hand side also. And again, this would be uh, for any of the devices that we can have our options. So again, quick run over this to four uh, video inputs via video capture card. It's the two video players. It's the three virtual sets, any of them. Uh, the images, the two main images, and the four NDI input sources, and you can have a back image. And of course, you can delete and reset, reset it and start it all over again. Yes, everything will be stored in the local database, and next time you open the software, it will be as you laid it out or configured it to be. Okay, so let's close this down. Uh, maybe bring it up into MS2 into the preview and get a little bit of a better look uh, at this So that's pretty much our multi-screen and we could broadcast that out for example
again this may be you may be using multi-screen one uh, in your program and you may be using multi-screen two on your external monitors where you just simply want to have one monitor maybe viewing your four NDI, devi NDI devices or whatever it may be okay so that is how to configure a multi-screen in FinCast Studio version 5 keep that in mind or onwards Again, their website as usual is fincast.com. Thank you for watching. Bye now.